Yo, look at that build up. That's nasty. That's nasty, bruh. That's nasty. Oh, wrong video, wrong video, wrong video. Universe head day is a new day. day. We gotta watch. We gotta fight. Yeah, let's let's go. go. All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be ACV rinsing my hair. As you seen on the last video, my hair was really bad with the dandruffs and the gunks and the buildups and everything. I'm gonna show you step by step how to resolve your buildups. Or if you don't even know what buildups are, you get to learn it right now. So let's go to the bath and let's put our hand to the sink with apple cider vinegar. This is what ACV stands for. And so let's get into it. I know the energy is pretty high because I'm getting to do a new thing for my hair and that is to dye a new color. I'm excited to show you guys that. But before that, I have to make sure that all the stuff is out, all the gunks, all the buildups, all the nastiness. That's some my hair sweats, whatever it is. Shampoo, old buildups, everything needs to come out. So that's what the video is going to be about. Now you get to learn how to even wash your hair before you dye in your hair because this is an important step. You don't wash your hair, you're just going to put more stuff in your hair and end up causing it to have even more buildups. So right now, we're going to get into it. All right, guys. So you need the ACV, the apple cider vinegar. That's what ACV is. ACV is what? AC, what am I talking about? ACV ends, man. And then you got the baking soda, not a baking powder, but a baking soda. I think baking powder worked too. I think, I think that's what we used to use, actually. I don't know, man. They confuse me. Baking powder, baking soda, what the heck? But I know that it activates ACV when you mix it with this. They kind of combine together and give it like some kind of acid that uh, helps the buildup basically push out of there and easily manageable to get them out. So this is very, actually, really good. And I used rice water once too. Rice water acts pretty good. It does kind of the same thing, even though the chemical might not be the same they do exactly the same thing by opening your locks so that all the stuff can come out and then when it dries of course your hair starts to be tighter so even this process is good for your dreadlocks and also I'm gonna use a shampoo that I secretly have used before and I think I did one video before but I really recommend it if you guys struggle with a dandruff and uh, I'm gonna give this out for free right here so hit the like button and what I mean by it when I say free is like free advertisement in a way you know what I mean this business you know what I mean this is how it functions but I, I, I love you guys I appreciate you guys so I'm just I'm gonna show you guys what I use I've used this before and uh, give me like a really amazing result. If you guys have tried a lot of things and haven't worked out for your hair, uh, ACV uh, shampoo is really the best head and shoulder. I've uh, been trying to contact them so they can sponsor me or uh, even give me my own product line around with this uh, ingredients because this is amazing. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm thinking in the end, I'm gonna rinse out with this with the shimmer light. A shimmer light basically lights up your hair. Uh, since I'm dying it a different color, I need it to be as light as possible uh, so that my hair new color can pop out. Like you can literally see it from a mile away. So I'm so excited for the next color. You guys will not expect what it is. So you're gonna be like, what? I thought it was gonna be this color. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> my wife usually helps me out, uh, but today I'm gonna be doing it myself. I'm gonna start out filling this with water. Basically, warm water, when you put it on warm, uh, it basically helps your pores open up so that all the stuff that uh, even are stuck, clogged up in your pores can come out. Pores are literally the little tiny bits of pieces that you can't even see with your eyes of your uh, where the hair grows from. And so if those are clogged up, your hair can grow pretty healthy as it should be. Uh, it will cause it to slow down the whole entire hair growth. So for people that always talk about how to fasten up your hair growth, they usually talk about pores and how uh, you should unclog your pores and doing different things like this. And hot water really helps out with that. Uh, if your hair actually gets clogged up, it's because of you not washing your hair often. You're wearing hats, so you basically sweat in it. So all the sweats just ends up being a buildup. You're not washing your hair, I already mentioned that. Or even if you use excessive uh, shampoo or gel, those can cause you your hair, your pores to clog up. You wanna technically wash your hair with the hot water, rinse with hot water, then finish it with cold water because you want to be able to get all those even the shampoo that you use out not mentioning rinse there's two types of rinse the, the the first one is where you wash out everything and then the second rinse is when you finish it out so the first rinse should be with hot water so that you can get even the pores the stuff that's clogged there out the second rinse should be just cold water where you close your pores or uh really can't really close it fully but you tighten it up so that things don't get into that so that the hair can actually smoothly grow out of it so if I'm explaining too much, sorry. This will help you understand why people use cold water or hot water. So what I noticed with this 
clogger right here is it doesn't clog up fully it gives it an open space so I don't want to waste all my apple cider vinegar so what I would do is basically pour the apple cider vinegar on top of my hair and then pour the baking powder on top of that actually so This is when I would grab the shampoo and start applying it while it's like basically separating. I did start scratching my scalp in different areas and you know pushing the buildups out like this. At the same time you want to start applying the shampoo while everything is almost like greasy because that's that's the texture of this cider vinegar with baking soda. It's like very 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 slicky so I'm gonna use this right now to help it even out. This smells amazing by the way. The shampoo not the AC. The AC is, it smells terrible. This. the before and after too and don't mind not like using the same water since it has like the apple cider vinegar and different things it will help it you're not really putting dirt on here because you want to rinse it out the dirt came out of your buildups areas and so that's the main part that matters so whenever you're scooping it up and put it on your hair it's probably going to get on top of your hair but it can't get into inside your dreadlock like it used to be so don't worry about doing that and a lot of people be like why do you use the same water to like scoop and put it out but yeah, actually, this is ACV, you know, it helps it with the rest of the stuff that is not out yet, it helps it out. And I always forget this, I remember it now. Don't forget to wash the, to wash the side of your hair and your back of your head. I always forget about those too. So, I'm gonna remember to do it right now. I have a whole fro right here, as y'all see. There's a whole mess back here. I am going to be cutting my hair soon, <laughs> so stay tuned, man. <clears throat> Jesus. Now we're going to let the water out. With hot water, we're going to rinse first, and then with cold water, we're going to end it. Fellas, so this is it right here. We're going to wash it. What I ended up doing that's different is that continue to you know rinse for your final rinse with the cold water. But for me, I did it with hot water just because I have to dye my hair next. And what 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 happens with dye is dye happens way faster when there's a uh, warm temperature on your hair, uh, or even even bleaching. The whole process of bleaching, it takes heat to do so. That's why your head gets really hot when you put bleach or even your hands. Hey, my neck hurt. Ah. So, I'll hold this like this. So I left it with a hot water rinse for me, uh, but I did rinse it twice. Jesus, I hate when my neck hurts. Give me a second, y'all. Oh. Trying to figure out a way to talk to y'all. You yeah, see the soap right here? That's because I'm washing on the sink. You see the soap right here? The main part is this part right here. So I'm good with this being uh, wiped down with a towel or something like that. Because later on, I'm gonna wash my hair anyways uh, when I dye my hair. So, uh, and I'm taking a shower. So don't mind that. Yeah, when you finished with the whole wash, 
do it with the cold water so that your pores can close. Uh, but I'm excited to go to the next step now. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. Let me know if you guys learned a lot or hit the like button or even comment down below if you guys have other tips or even if you have ever done AC appearance and how the result was. I'm gonna show you a result right now. This is the before and after of it. Crazy how tiring it can get. Like I was like 10, 15 minutes. So usually when my neck hurts that way, I'll go the opposite way to balance it out. So I don't like washing my hair in the sink, but you have to do what you gotta do. A lot of people do ask how often they should wash their hair or how often should I rinse, ACV rinse it and different things. I do it like once a month or every other month, really. I don't do it often. I do wash my hair with shampoo when I get the chance to. If I feel like, you know, I'm sweating, I worked out or anything like that, I usually end up just doing that. Just washing my hair with a shampoo. And the shampoo is the one I used. I showed you guys ACV shampoo. And it really helped me out with that on my scalp. It has the ingredient that apple cider vinegar has. And that's why they call it ACV shampoo. And it smells like apple. This actually smells really good versus just ACV rinse by itself. So here is the before. You can see uh, the buildups that I have, even the small, small, tiny dandruffs that are everywhere. And that is because of the excessive oil that my hair produces. And uh, I don't wash my hair often also, so that doesn't help at all with that. Um, so if you guys have a dandruff issues or anything like that, uh, some of you guys just need the right oil. And the right oil depends on what kind of oil your skin accepts, really. It, what it needs is what it absorbs. Everybody's skin is different. And so some people, you know, they use olive oil some people use coconut oil it works out for them but for me just none of them just worked out for me a lot of people did try to recommend me different things uh, the best way I found it to be is if I wash my hair quite often uh, like every two weeks every uh, yeah, every two weeks with shampoo uh, and also don't apply a lot of oil since my hair produces a lot of oil actually my dandruff count would be way less dyeing my hair soon so I'm gonna be uh, uh, retwisting my hair anytime soon because it does need it you guys can see this Congo right here can't really do much with it uh, grown uh, way it's way past grown you know it's, it's on dreadlocks now but now it's trying to absorb other locks right here and that's why it's crucial to split your hair afterwards but you guys can see there's no Almost there is no dandruff, you can say, but there are some, uh, but not as much, you know what I mean? It's reduced tremendously. Uh, you can see the clear, the clearness, right, like right here. Used to be really like, like a lot of dandruff used to be just sticking out, but now it's way less. Some people's hair actually gets really white right here after a wash, uh, and they try to squeeze it out like this. And it's because those are the people that apply a lot of gel and a lot of products to their, uh, when they're retwisting their hair. So they end up getting that, consequence of that whiteness of the hair the whiteness of basically the hair at the bottom uh, and then just letting you know that that the ACB rinse has pushed it out there and uh, it's just trying to come out it's almost like at the end so you just you know twist it or you know kind of like twist like this till it squeezes out completely you guys can see like right here and then just kind of like Start wiping it down with like a towel or something. And it's very common, it's very uh, normal. Don't think that it's just you. That happens to me on some of my locks. Uh, and I don't use gel often, but these are basically the buildups from uh, previous wash or even dandruff just being been there in that in this area as it grew out. The reason it comes on the roots usually is because that's where this is where you have dandruffs, you know, this is where you have dandruffs and so this are the fresh growing, growing hair and so most of the dandruff as it grows, it goes with it. So you're basically just catching it before it grows out. That's why whenever you squeeze this part, you don't get nothing. You don't get no buildups or anything like that because it's been out for a while. It's been ACV rinsed a lot more than, you know, the roots because the roots are pretty fresh. And so it's good that, you know, you squeeze it out, especially if you see a lot, a bunch of them, I do that. Don't be scared to do so. Don't feel like your hair is so dirty or anything like that. It's just very natural. And sometimes it is even from the wash you just had. If you didn't rinse it pretty good, this is what the result you get also. And it's like, for me, washing it at the sink doesn't help at all. And that is most of the rinse and also most of the, that is most of the rinse and the dandruff combined together. So you guys can tell right here how watery it is, how gooey it is, that uh, it is just definitely just the buildups coming out and uh, shampoo and everything with it. So this is why you need to do a lot of maintenance after shower also. 
or after you do ACV rinse or a wash on your hair. But yeah, not too bad, huh? Yeah, I really like ACV rinsing it just because of how much it takes care of my roots and uh, the dandruff buildups that I have accumulated. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the before and after and also the wisdom that came with this. If you guys have any other suggestions and different things that you guys do, make sure you leave the comment below and hit the like button if you learned anything in here or if you're wearing a socks or if you're not wearing a socks. I don't know why you used to to say that. Like, if you're not wearing a socks, just hit the like button. I don't know, I don't get the term. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not too young for that anymore to understand what they're talking about. Maybe at that, I'm at that age, you know what I mean? So yeah, hit the like button. I'm excited. Uh, for the next hair dye. Guess what color is going to be down below. If you guess it right, I'm going to give you a shout out in the next video. Thank you guys for watching the video. Till next time, make sure you guys check out Pineapple World. This is a channel where your journey matters. We created a group for people to share their journey. So if you guys haven't shared your journey, go share it because usually I end up looking at it and different things commented down below on it. Yeah, make sure you join that family. We have a YouTube Instagram. Instagram will start actually featuring people soon. We already are featuring people that follow us right away on our stories. So go, go check it out. Make sure you guys like it follow it subscribe to it but till next time keep acting the and creating your universe i'm activeverse and i'm out stay tuned you dig